Well, hello, my friends. It's me, it's Ken. We're doing that art, art fair stuff. Yeah, affordable art fair. We are here still at the Alita Anderson Art Projects, and we're going to talk to the awesome Seth Fairweather Cast Glass. Let's take a look. Seth, come on in. Talk to me about all your stuff. How are you, man? I'm doing all right. Thanks for having me. Oh, it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. It's, uh, you know, we talk uh, a little bit here at the show, so tell me about the pieces. Uh, these are cast glass. Um, a lot of skulls. Yeah, these are kind of like a mentimori piece. You know, kind of this encouragement to remember that life is short, so live to the fullest. And then I live, I live in Arizona near the Mexico border, and so it's kind of like a combination of the dead, dead imagery with the mentimori. They're really, Classic, uh, they're really cool. Thank you. And they're all slightly different, right? Yeah, they're all different, and then um, and. You know, some have more pedals, some have fewer, some are, you know, I mean, they're all similar, but... but right, you know, right, right. Be now, what are these? Wait, these, uh, like, circular... These are blown glass that is mirrorized, uh, so each one is made individually out of, you know, out of hot glass, and then once it's cold, then I'll use a chemical wash on the inside to So to all of this is not sold as one piece, these are all individual yes. works. Yes, as many or as few as are as right from the space. You call them mercury colors. drops, that's yeah. a great name for them. Really, really stunning looking. I like some of the colors, like this one in particular, I like that color. Thank you. I'm a fan of blue and assorted oh, tints. Now these are very interesting, what is this? These are uh, these are a piece kind of about disconnecting from every, everything and, and forming your own opinions again. Um, these came about when I was living in Philadelphia in, a, in an industrial area and, and kind of came up with the idea and the imagery of a symbiotic relationship between all these abandoned factories, the people who run around there, the smokestacks, and creating people. And so, so they are supposed to represent smokestacks? Well, they're not really supposed to represent anything in particular, they become this this focal point to where you, you there's enough ambiguity to form your own opinion. And that's what's really important about this piece for me is that it's something that sparks your own interpretation rather than just having it spelled out there. Wow, really cool, really cool. First uh, affordable art fair? No, this is my third. Okay. I always ask that question. My last one was pre-COVID, though, so it's been. Oh, okay. I think I came to this app like when COVID was ending. Mm. So. Awesome, awesome. I hope it's been a good show for you. There's still two more days of the show, but you folks at home are not going to see this for quite a while based on the queue of videos that are up in front of it. So, but we thank Seth for his time for a couple of minutes and so he can get back to selling all this awesome stuff. And that's it, my friends. We're going to wrap this one up from the Affordable Art Fair. It's Ken Pearson, Ken Channel. Do that YouTube thing. Click the uh, subscribe, click notification bell, like and leave a comment on the video, and we will see you with more soon. Thank you. Bye.